Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another news video. This week we have items you can get right now. You don't have to wait for Friday. They're available at the time you're watching the video. And also of course we have the news for the upcoming week or so. Let's get into the video. Okay, so as a rendering this episode of the news, we get a bombshell dropped on us. On the side notes, Archfiend Army Void Paladin. I normally put stuff like this at the end, but I don't think it would fit in the end because I recorded a whole 10 minute news video and uh, there's a lot of cool stuff in there. So continue to watch the video, please. But especially at the end of the video, that's where I put all the, all the new stuff, all the cool stuff. But uh, Void Paladin coming out. Here's the side notes post on it. Um, on Twitter, Elena says most of the stuff is going to be merged. There's not going to be any new quests added, so it's all merged stuff. So if you have diamonds and unidentified 13s, uh, you can use them on this. So farm those tonight if you want to be able to be one of the first people to have these items tomorrow when they come out this weekend. Void Paladin. And it says uh, you're going to have to give up a Blinding Light of Destiny if you want the... A, the new Legion version of the Binding Light of Destiny. I don't know exactly what it's called. The Ascended Void Light of Destiny and Void Light of Destiny. So, yeah, really insane stuff. An Archfiend Paladin, Void Paladin. Very cool. And I can't wait for this to be in game. It looks amazing. Let's get into the rest of the news video I already had recorded. Okay, first things first, some interesting news concerning new monsters that are coming into the game very soon on May 19th, along with the release of these monsters. Uh, these are from the original Adventure Quest and J6 recreated them for Adventure Quest Worlds. Now, um, so it looked great, look forward to fighting against the Nightbane as one of the toughest bosses to beat. Awesome, once the rewrites complete, we will give all our void monsters special abilities to make them even tougher so some interesting stuff I guess special abilities that can only be implemented once the server rewrite is finished uh, the abilities will be live on the PTR server on the 19th so they're not saying that the server rewrite will be available on the 19th of May uh, they're saying that the abilities will be on the PTR servers the testing servers so you can see them there that is that. I, th I think some people were a little confused, so I just want to clear that up in the news video that the server rewrite is not happening on May 19th, as much as that would be awesome. Not gonna happen. This Friday, we have the Book of Monsters Gravelin's Command. So we saw Gravelin at the end of last week's release, and she's gonna be a big part of this week's release, along with some bug fixes, uh, assisting drudging quests from the new pet in game. If you don't know what pet I'm talking about, a 1% drop pet from Makai. It is member only and it has new Nolgath quests. If I'm not looking at pets right now, if you have the other Craig and Bamboozle, I think it has some even if you don't have Craig and Bamboozle or Dredge and the Assistant, but they have buffed the Dredge and the Assistant one, uh, Assistant Dredgen, so it no longer needs uh, one of the items. It needs Seal of Light instead. I haven't done this because I don't have Dredgen, but. Uh, if you do have Dredgen, this quest is apparently faster now because of the change they made to it where you, this is no more crazy farming. So I didn't do the quest, but it should be a lot faster now. So maybe try that out if you have Dredgen and a membership. So uh, the, quibble, the Quibble got the rare rare team set epic and they flipped around a sword, other small bug fixes. And uh, that is the Friday release. Here's a really cool penguin armor. I like to include fun little art things like this on the news videos to show you guys some of the cool stuff that people are posting to Twitter. Uh, this isn't needs to be remade. A fun outfit. Definitely a fun outfit. Reminds me of the cat one uh, that you can get out of the treasure chest. Really cool looking stuff there. Now, Lordo on Twitter, credit where credit's due, uh, gave me a few hints of some new stuff that was added to the game today. Uh, Flush on Yalgar and Battle Under B. Now, the first one, of course, is in Yolgar, so I'll show you that real quick. I already have it in my house. I don't think I've showed it in the video already, so we'll go show you how to get it. It's a house item. Very cool looking house item. And it, you can get it. It's non-member, and it's like 100 gold right now. So I recommend getting it if you're looking for house items. I know non-members don't have a lot of house items to go for, 
It's right here. So I'm going to zoom in in the editing software right now and click there. Bubble potion shelf. A shelf for storing all of your bubble bath potions, nightbane, squeaking bath toys, and pink, pink bubbles. So there's what it looks like. And you can buy it for 100 gold. I already have it in my house. It's right here. So it's a little secret house item if you want to maybe show you one of your friends in Adventure Quest Worlds. The secret. Hopefully it stays in game. It's pretty cool. And uh, they might remove it. It might be rare. So maybe get it before it goes rare. I don't know if it's going rare or not. And it looks like it has a shadow effect on it. Oh yeah, it has a shadow effect on it. That's really cool. It looks really nice wherever you place it. And uh, yeah, definitely worth a pickup if you want some pink bubble bath in your house. Here's a really cool penguin armor. I like to include fun little art things like this on the news videos to show you guys some of the cool stuff that people are posting to Twitter. Uh, this isn't needs to be remade. A fun outfit. Definitely a fun outfit. Reminds me of the cat one uh, that you can get out of the treasure chest. Really cool looking stuff there. Now, Lordo on Twitter, credit where credit's due, uh, gave me a few hints of some new stuff that was added to the game today. Uh, Flush on Yalgar and Battle Under B. Now, the first one, of course, is in Yolgar, so I'll show you that real quick. I already have it in my house. I don't think I've showed it in the video already, so we'll go show you how to get it. It's a house item. Very cool-looking house item. And it, you can get it. It's non-member, and it's like 100 gold right now. So I'd recommend getting it if you're looking for house items. I know non-members don't have a lot of house items to go for. It's right here, so I'm going to zoom in in the editing software right now and click there bubble potion shelf a shelf for storing all of your bubble bath potions nightbane squeaking bath toys and pink pink bubbles so there's what it looks like and you can buy it for 100 gold i already have it in my house it's right here so it's a little secret house item if you want to maybe show you one of your friends in adventure quest worlds the secret hopefully it stays in game it's pretty cool and uh, they might remove it. It might be rare, so maybe get it before it goes rare. I don't know if it's going rare or not. And it looks like it has a shadow effect on it. Oh yeah, it has a shadow effect on it. That's really cool. It looks really nice wherever you place it. And uh, yeah, definitely worth a pickup if you want some pink bubble bath in your house. Now, the second hint that Lordo gave me was slash showing battle under B. Now, if we join battle under B... like so now this is where you farm bone dust you've probably been here if you want to go to Nolgath. but if you go all the way to the bottom there's also a legion token farming quest here so both Nolgath and legion people farm here so there's a little fun fact for you but if you go all the way down to the bottom here and pass this guy there is a new arrow here this might have been here before i'm not 100 percent sure on this but uh there's definitely a new monster i've never seen here before the lost now this guy drops stuff. Now here is the wiki page. I think the drops are pretty rare. And here's a little fun little side note here. Um, if you go look at why there are rare items here. Because at one point these items could be sold for 6,250 ACs. So that was obviously a bug. Being able to sell some of the drops for ACs. Uh, hopefully no one got banned over that. <laughs> but... Of course, they have the not the non-sellable versions of them now in game: the withered tentacle, the torn picture, and the folded paper. They're all AC items, and they are definitely part of the uh, dark box quest line uh, that you start. Or not really quest line, but like I don't. It's kind of a quest line. There's quests involved, uh, and I can tell that because of the mercy our mercury elixir. So. It's part of it's a new part in that quest line thing. So if you're doing that, here is the lost guy. Uh, I don't know if there's anything cool related to this guy. Please tell me in the comment section below, because I haven't done it yet. Because I still need to open more treasure chests to start the uh, quest line off. So I have no clue what this is for, but uh, it's definitely part of that. So thank you guys for watching this video. That's all the news we have this week. Not a lot of news to be honest, um, I, as far as updates go, so on, not not uh, this Friday, but this Sunday, so if we look at our calendars here, which we'll do real quick, uh, Friday's the 28th, but on the 30th is Alina's 10 year anniversary, 
and on the Zine notes there's an event or a shop or an item or something that's going to come out on the 30th on Sunday this weekend. Now I think in the last news video I said it was going to come out like last Sunday and I was wrong about that so my apologies if anyone was confused about that. I mean I was confused myself but it's actually the 30th. I probably read that wrong on the calendar when I was doing that video but it's actually this Sunday confirmed so uh, there'll be an event on Friday and another little tiny event on Thursday. So that is all for the news today. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow on the stream where we go look at the new event. Thank you for coming out. Peace. Oh yeah, and uh, twitch.tv slash Corey X, uh, link in the chat. I stream often on there now. Uh, I've actually been streaming like almost every night, and I'll be streaming tonight also. So if you want to check that out, link's in the description. I've been streaming there quite often recently. So, bye-bye. <laughs>